happy day. We are back again to talk one more time to the Pleiadians. Um, we have one more question that came in uh, the other day that um, I would like them to respond to. And then we will draw a couple of cards for today. So the question that came up before I bring them in was um, specifically around um, some of the things that are happening in the outside world today. Um, and one of them was a concern about, you know, um, what if certain mandatory changes um, were to be quote unquote, kind of, this wasn't the exact question. The question was like mandatory vaccinations. What about those? Um, but there's a whole host of other, you know, things about um, our freedom being taken away that I think are really the overall concern. And that's just one of many of the questions. And um, I know that the Pleiadians have answered this in other forms before, kind of very um, high level, kind of like um, each person will know what they need to do and they'll be guided um, on what they need to do in those circumstances. But I do want to ask them to go a little bit deeper into that response if there's anything else that they're able to tell us about that. So I'm going to go ahead and bring them in now. Hello loves, hello, yes, we are here. We have heard the question loud and clear and we are rhyming today to take your troubles away because that is really the response to this question. The true response is that you don't have to worry about a thing, darlings. You don't need to be in fear over these little troublesome things that are taking up so much of your time and your mental chatter and your internal space. And we do love you very, very much. And we want you to know that we do feel your concerns. We feel them very deeply because we feel the planet. We feel what is happening on your beautiful earth. And we want to share with you that if anything like these conditions were to arise, that all human beings have the innate ability to know what is best for them. You have an internal guidance system. You know what to do in response to certain situations. And there will be guidance given to you in any given situation that could quote unquote negatively impact you in any certain way. You will be guided what to do. You will be shown the way. You will find new ways of working with your energy field we call them cloaking devices, but they are an internal technology that you will be shown how to use. You just have to ask and you can find out how to hide yourself from outside forces that you do not want to infringe on your own personal privacy, your own personal well-being. This is all coming for you, dear ones. This is all something that is already part of your innate ability. You've just forgotten how to do it. So we don't want you to worry or fear about these things. If they are coming, they are in the far future, not near enough for you to be so concerned about them now. But do know that if they do arise, each one of you individually, in your own way, will be shown what to do to, in a sense, evade detection uh, from being seen by any outside sources that would wish to do you harm in any way. And that is really all there is to say on this subject for now. There is no need to go any deeper since each person will be shown their own individual tactics on how to respond to any of these upcoming issues, upcoming concerns, upcoming things that might be happening on your planet. So go about your day without these cares in your heart, dear souls, and know that you are being divinely guided. You are being shown each moment of the day the steps that you need to take, and you will never be forced against your will to do anything that is not in your best and highest good. So hold that intention for yourself and the collective humanity around you that you only want what is best for the world, for Gaia, for humanity. You only want what is in the soul's highest vibration, highest light, highest love. Unity consciousness, unity oneness. These are the high level trajectories, high level ascension and awakening topics 
that should be the focus of your attention rather than lower level topics of least concern to those of you that are on the awakening path. So thank you so much for asking us this question and we bid you a fond good day. Okay. <laughs> So really pretty much what they said before, um, just in a longer sense of the word. But they are, they are saying that each of us will be shown um, what we will need to do. It'll be specific and, and unique to each person. Um, and I guess at that point, at this point, there's, there's no need to really go into it any further. Just knowing that we are protected and we just kind of need to rise above thinking about that for now. Stop watching, definitely stop um, watching those kinds of stories on the news. And know that um, nothing is set in stone yet either, they're saying. Nothing is set in stone about anything that's going to happen. So to get yourself kind of all um, concerned about it and thinking about it so much is only taking your thoughts away from your work in the world and your things that you um, could be focusing on to um, improve your own overall well-being because these things like that are just kind of going to detract. All right, we got three cards today. Let me just see what they are. <laughs> okay, so three cards just all came out at the same time. Potentiality Princess, this is like a go button. This is like um, you have everything in your power to get going and get moving. There's a lot of um, Beltane energy here, fire energy here with the orange. Um, there's also a lot of courage going on with the sun, who's also a little lion in this case. Um, they're saying Lion's Gate. So we are preparing all the things that we're doing now to move into Lion's Gate, which should be our focus now, is really getting um, our getting our goals, getting our intentions going and moving. We've already set them, and with these Beltane fires, with this May Day, with the fire energy coming in, um, even around the solstice, all the way to Lion's Gate, they're saying it really is go, and any potential, um, anything you set your intentions to is going to take root. How are you going to know what those things are? Moon, uh, what is this moon? What is my card? Moon Goddess is all about using your intuition. This is the moon card in the Major Arcana. This is all about um, allowing for divine guidance and just, just getting into that kind of wild unknown, the wild unknown of what's, what's coming down. Just pray and hope for the most highest vibrational information to come down from the heavens down to you through your crown, into your third eye, into your heart, and just um, praying that anything of the highest intention is the information that you're going to receive. Because right now there are still a few little unknowns, um, but you've got the magic in you to make anything happen, okay? This is the magician card in the major arcana. This is, I mean, you just have to set the intention if it's, Coming from your true heart space, if you set that intention, then the universe, your guides, angels, whoever you are supported by on your journey um, from the other worlds is going to step up to assist you in making those dreams a reality. They're not going to do it all for you because this is co-creation with source, with source, and you are a part of source, but you've got to take action and do some things too. So you've got a little bit of work to do today to clear some fog because I was guided to create um, in my new, new deck that I'm not even done with yet. I was guided to create the fog card today, which is you don't have all the answers yet. And so there's still some information coming to us today. Um, there was a huge um, <clears throat> crown and third eye throat chakra um, clearing out and upgrading yesterday when the Schumann spike, there was a big spike of the Schumann yesterday. And let me tell you, I don't know, but I felt like burning, almost like fire in my crown and in my third eye. And then I got like this huge headache. Um, I listened to a light language activation from Lightstar on YouTube. If you're not familiar with her, go check her channel out. Listen to that activation that she did around, um, it was around fear, but whatever it was that she did in her light language, at least for me, like I just felt like a whole bunch of stuff come down my crown. I mean, really big activation um, that she did. So check that video out as well. And I'm going to stop here and bless you all with a happy, beautiful, gorgeous day. And we will talk to you all again in the next video. I love you all. Take care. Bye.